this is the clip I want to use. There is audio uh, in loop, but I do not need that, so I remove the audio completely. Now you don't hear it anymore. I choose this clip, I copy it by tapping the plus sign, and now I put a mask around my face. You will say, Lumafusion has no mas masks, but there is one, and it is right here. I will show you. Go here, colors and effects. I choose the spiral symbol, and way down below there's a telescope. You can move this telescope around. You can change this and you can change this so it covers all the image. Make the hole a little bit smaller and this is about the right place. Now I put a, a keyframe, keyframe is the right word, and I tick the plus sign a telescope. At the beginning of the clip my face is here, and this keyframe is automatically set after the first one. Then my face goes here. You see at the left side I have to adjust mm, the radius a bit in the place here, here. Now the masks, the mask follows my face. I close the telescope, filter or effect, and then I go to the blur, and that is the, the water drop in the middle, and I choose uh, the box blur 40. It's 40 because here is the figure 40 effect you can adjust it. Close this. When you change the order of those two things we added, the box blur and the telescope, you see a difference in behavior. I like this one better because the edge is also blurry now. So it has a kind of feather in the end result. We close this and this is the effect. And the black you see here, that's not real black, but it is video black, so it's transparent. So if I put this above here, this is the one we want. So that's all that is to it. Are there two objects which have to be blurred, two faces? You just make two copies of your original and you blur uh, the second face and at the end you put them all, all on top of each other and you're done. Well, that's it.